Sage reports full year results for 2015 today, and I'm joined now by CEO Stephen Kelly to talk through some of the key aspects. So Stephen, what are the highlights for you? Well, I think um, we're pleased that we exceeded the targets established by the prior management back in 2012. Uh, and we've outlined at the Capital Markets Day a significant transformation program for the company. And even now we're seeing some green shoots associated with that transformation. So some of the elements of 9% uh, increase in growth on recurring revenue, um, subscription growth of 29%, and actually the subscription contracts to be 690,000 is impressive. And then around the global products, I think one of the favorite products for startup businesses is Sage One, and to see that growing at 100% um, compound growth is impressive, as is double digit growth on the X3 enterprise product. Well, I think building on the first half results, the uh, recurring revenue growth of 9%, underpinned by 29% subscription revenue growth continues that momentum. But that's also accompanied by a 12.6% increase in underlying earnings per share and a 21% uh, free cash flow as a percentage of revenue. And that's also then allowed us to increase the dividend by 8%. At the same time, we've really started to invest for growth um, to ensure that we have the right momentum going forward. So we're very focused on where our research and development expenditure is going and 87% of our expenditure is now on growth products. And in turn, those growth products have driven that 9% recurring revenue growth. So overall, I think a good, uh, strong set of results, which creates the right momentum for the future.